And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Atomic Heart. I think I might be addicted to playing this game now. Uh oh. Anyways, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into playing some more Atomic Heart here. Alright. So where are we going? We need to go that way. We already looted that area up. Apparently if you hit the bodies on the ground here, you can cut them in half like that, which is quite disturbing. I don't know if I like that thing on my axe. It doesn't allow me to do quick actions anymore. Well, this is slightly er eerie in here. you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. I think after this video, I'll go to bed. Hi, you come with me. Come on. Come on. Why can I shoot? Something's messed up with my buttons. Uh, let's see here, because I changed my buying keys. I was left clicked in something. Why is this a question mark? I don't know how that got changed like that, but... Alrighty. Looks like I'm gonna need health kits.
works. So I deal absolutely no. I think I might take that upgrade for swinging all your around off. I just not bobbing with it. Don't like it. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Can I take that off? This piece right here is slowing down my ability to do damage like castle swing. Um, uh. Feels electric damage. Sounds like a good thing to have. Authorization. Major Nichayev. By doing this, it will allow me to swing it. This right here, yeah, it does more damage more against robots, but this is better. So. I don't think I have enough to upgrade this right now. Buy some health, maybe. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Play for a little bit more. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there.
You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. How am I supposed to restart the line? There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ugh. Did it take me a year to guess the combo? Look around. Maybe someone has the code. I guessed it. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, uh, what was Please that? Please take your seats according to your ticket. We're now witnessing. They won't go without the schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. He's frozen just like everything here. They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. The USSR is planning to mass produce these magnificent mechanisms. Icaruses will be able to couple with one another to produce a full blown. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station master has it. And even agriculture. didn't make it. Wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master, find him! Find him! Get the schematic! Got it. I'll look. Holy fuck! Maybe a talking I corpse. should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I've fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen hey, some hey. shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected Ten, with the neuropolymer. Nine, eight, seven, six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Bad feeling I go down there. to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some civvy wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that.
shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. That was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Oh, we know why the tunnel's all screwed up. It's fun, you just walk across and Wolf bursts his open. He's like, -hee -hee. Shit. Oh, you man, can make me do this again? There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Kill for flinching. find a way to move forward but frankly I'm having trouble figuring out how climbing the wall that's how do you have mountaineering training I'm a spec ops soldier not some city wuss riding a desk I've got all kinds of training I must admit I'm quite glad to hear that Reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed, it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. about the Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, covering? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Burov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what, like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery. That's why. Point them at the ground, and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So, their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tag's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge sites. 
Sorry, I'm in a hurry. I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. I'm guessing I need to hop in the middle of this. Stop. What a nice trip. wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. I must admit that is quite annoying. Your defense system is active. Ah. <sighs> 
guys should probably get me one more. All right. I'll go back this way. Let's save real quick. Saving data. Crap! That hurt! That thing packs him. Are you okay? Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Must be such an ups guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burrab. We took him to the infirmary and then uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go down. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. I mean, that's not a bad way to get power, I guess. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Alright, that's all 
unlock this. What we got? have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm-hmm Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Major, weapons or ability? Ah, <sighs> hmm. Let's start with guns. I don't think I can make anything right now.
charge fee. Data. It's Tokyo Drift, that shit. Alright, I'm just gonna monitor some movement here. Looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. And it's too far away, okay. <laughs> Where's that? You don't see anything. It was never here.
It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Mm -hmm. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. Mm -hmm. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Yikes. This is the Luna. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. First major victory in its open-ended space exploration mission. Manufactured by Facility 30. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Shit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl, strung up another disgusting crime. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. Do you like it, sugar? Instead of bullets, energy weapon consumes your gloves energy. I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Alright, let's see what we can do for upgrades for this thing. I don't think I can do anything right now, but I'll see. Uh, reduces energy consumption. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And I can't really do anything else with that. Okay. Additional cell to the chamber. I think I have it. All right. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty... Oh, 
Oh boy. Now I've got one. has to be lodged deep in the universe's quantum asshole. Does this <laughs> stuff happen to everyone, or just me? archive yesterday and everything there is so automated we won't have to work at all pretty soon we'll just sit there listening to music here's a piece robots can't appreciate it the way we do uh done i think it worked oh man i don't want to go in there it's scary This place is huge. Learn to activate skills, upgrade your weapons to complete. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? So we finally are being given a pistol, looks like. Let's <sighs> see here, to do the cryogen. Your glove can hit targets, service. Effect enemy frozen, cannot move, da da. Yeah, we'll grab it. Probably save my game right here. Saving right. data. Come back here.
away, crispy major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seat bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised. That's a nice glitch, I think. That leads me to nowhere.
a large med kit I used if I was deselecting it. There, I want, I want it, but it's only over there. Oh! Use your gun to melee wisely in order to. Critical security system failure. All personnel evacuate the seat back immediately. Comrades, follow your shift schedule carefully. <laughs> Fading data.
I'm feeling I should jump up here first to see if there's anything. Taking that hard row. Look at all the stuff I would have missed. I'm wondering if it's worth going down there. I don't think it is. Scotty. Up with blasting off down there. Fire cartridge, nice. All right, this is puzzle. Trying to see if it's worth interacting with something down there. What you staring for? Right? Well, well.
Probably don't need to do this, but I want to, so. Exit. Back into it. Ah, you gotta be quick on this one. Alright. I, I won't fool with that until I have to. I was kind of curious to see if that had anything in it, but... Try one more time. All right. So as soon as it starts, I have to try to open it. You can only waste like two seconds on this. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. I was wondering if there was.
Gotta figure out how to get the blue one. Backwards. It took me five minutes. Pretty sure I've been here. I like just having it open in case I need to come back this way, so. Tokyo drifting that shit over there. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. Damn. It really is, Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Great. Drag this thing with me. We got here. Ah, uh, not another one of these. I really don't like those. Generation not possible. 
The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war, and Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making... ...look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. Please select we the desired procedure. Two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Just seeing if there's anything new. What is this? Your grants you additional dodge charge to what's this increase your suits and laser resistance absolutely be good to have multiple weapons. Alright. We got some saving to do. Do it. Let's press the wrong button. Saving data. Take a look at my time. One hour and twenty minutes does not feel like that. going to close behind me probably, so maybe let's just scout this out a little bit. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I going to turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. It's a little terrifying in here right now. Holy shit. Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's me. My own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Alright, so this is the idea here. I'm gonna clear this area of what I can get into and show you. Oh uh, boy, where does this go to? Oh man. This place reeks something bad happened. Right, before I go in here, I want to check out the other stuff. warm in there. Alright, let's get that lab out of the way. I think I was 
goes over here. Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production. That are you? Germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. They even took a whole tank of PA 400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. That ah, should be fine if they keep spraying it. Oh my god. We're picking the worst route to go down right now. There's four of them. I don't like that. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Get out of here. It's going to take a lot longer than uh, 10 minutes. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. We are in some hell right now. <laughs>